Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Today we are going to learn about a very interesting topic and that is transcontinental countries. Do you know what they are? Let's find out. Transcontinental nations, also known as intercontinental states, are countries situated on multiple continents. Some of their territories reside in another continent despite being part of a specific continent. There are three types of transcontinental countries. First type is contiguous transcontinental countries. These exist where a country's territory span across multiple continents without any gap. However, there are limited number of such countries. Second type is non-continuous transcontinental countries. These have overseas possessions with the main territory on one continent and further territories on another. The third type of transcontinental country is those that are transcontinental depending on interpretations as continents are grouped differently based on location. So, let us first know some of the contiguous transcontinental countries. The first one is Russia. It is the world's largest contiguous transcontinental country encompassing both Europe and Asia. Its European territory is the west of Ural Mountains, which is the continental border between Europe and Asia. Siberia, Russian Asian territory, is east of the Urals and is bordered by Barents Sea, Kara Sea and East Siberian Sea. The south of Siberia is bordered by Kazakhstan, Mongolia and China. North Korea shares a border with Russia in southeast. The next country is Kazakhstan. It is situated south of Russia and is bordered by Russia to the west, the Caspian Sea to the southwest, the Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan to the south. It shares contiguous territory with Russia in both Europe and Asia. The Ural rivers flowing into northwest Kazakhstan is considered part of the border between Europe and Asia, putting most of the Kazakhstan's territory in Asia. The next contiguous transcontinental country is Turkey. It is situated between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea and is divided into two parts. The larger part, Anatolia or Asia Minor, which is bordered by Armenia and Georgia, Iran, Syria and Iraq. The smaller part, Thrace, is shared by Turkey and Greece. Istanbul is Turkey's largest city. It is the most populous city in Europe, despite its Asian territory. The majority of Turks reside in the Asian part of the country. Now, let us know about the non-continuous transcontinental country, that is Greece. Greece holds numerous islands in the Aegean Sea, which is considered part of the European Asia border. Some small Greek islands may technically be in Asia, while most of its territory is in Southern Europe. And lastly, countries that are possibly transcontinental countries of Asia and Europe. First one is Georgia. The Caucasus Mountains are often considered the border between Europe and Asia, suggesting that Georgia is located south of these mountains, which is part of Asia. However, a small part of northwestern Georgia lies north of the mountains, suggesting a small European foothold, even though some simplify this by putting all of Georgia in Asia. The next country is Azerbaijan. Like Georgia, it is situated in the South Caucasus region, with most of the country in Asia and a small northern region in Europe, influenced by Caucasus Mountain. Transcontinental countries' designation can vary based on continent border definitions. Some recognize Europe and Asia as a single continent, that is Eurasia thereby excluding these countries from the transcontinental borders. With this, we have come to an end of the session. Let's try to answer the following questions. Question 1. Where is Turkey situated? Question 2. Which countries are possibly transcontinental countries of Europe and Asia? Question 3. Which countries border Kazakhstan? 
I hope you have enjoyed the session and learned something new and interesting. Thank you and happy learning.